Hi, welcome to Roll20 Macros video for Ultimate Skill Check Macro. Uh, we're, or basically, we've created this macro to help you with skill checks and without referencing the character sheet over and over for those skill checks, especially if someone's casting a spell at you and constantly got to go back to your um, character sheet to get your saving throw. Now, Another thing I always find is like I, I don't mind the uh, advantage and disadvantage roles included inside the um, the macro when it shows on your chat bar. However, this one completely removes that option. So I'm just going to clear the chat so you can see what I mean. So we're going to here's just a quick character I've kind of just whipped up. Um, yes, it is a monster, and the monster was animated by David North, who's, um, if he's watching this, good work. Can't wait to see some more um, tokens. They're amazing. Now, if we to open our uh, character sheet. Uh, so, I've just generally made this character up. Uh, just assigned him a random token. Um, this, is a, this is a player character sheet, by the way. So if I bring up the player character sheet, I uh, just chuck some random things in here. Um, also too, it's very important if you have a player character sheet to um, go to your class and then enter the level of your class. And this automatically calculates your proficiency bonus, which applies to your skills. So if you're say like dexterity and your proficiency, it adds your proficiency bonus here. Now, uh, to in order to do a normal skill check without a macro, you kind of got to go, okay, I want to do a stealth check. You've got to open up your character sheet. You can obviously click this and it pops it out. Um, but generally, I just like to stick to the tabletop. Just have everything open. I can see everything in front of me, especially if I'm a DM and mul operating multiple characters. It's quite annoying to bring up uh, all these characters all the time, finding the right character sheet. Yeah. So I decided to code this. Now, to do this, say I wanted to do a stealth check, I've got to open the character sheet and roll here, which will give me a stealth check. Now, as so you can see here, we've got advantage and your, your, your standard roll, and then you have your advantage or disadvantage roll here. Now, if you're not doing an advantage or disadvantage roll, it gives you two rolls. Sometimes your players can get confused. I sometimes, yeah, can kind of find it annoying. So in this one also, if you healthy dude and goes dark in the dark, ignore my random mess. Now, if I highlight stealth, which is here, then we roll this again, you'll notice it pops up with Super Stealthy Dude and goes dark in the dark. Now, this applies to your stealth things here, but we're not gonna do this. We're going to leave this here. Um, if you wanted to, you could uh, drag this into your token actions or your macros down here, and then rename that Super Stealthy. So if you wanna to refer to it, you can do it here. This is if you're a player character, otherwise, yeah, feel free to um, put your macro um, into the abilities and attributes tab here, and you can roll it whenever. Uh, okay, but what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you how to apply uh, this ultimate skill check macro. So generally what you can do first, um, we need to set up all these 18 attributes here. I'll show you a quick way to do it. First of all, copy all this. Don't edit anything, just copy it all, all the way to there. Copy, back here, and in here, create a new ability. I'll just show you here, skill, check, two. I'm just putting two because I've already done this one before. Paste that in, done. And then, click this button here, show as token action. Now, if I click off my token and tick back on, there it is there. Now, you'll notice here, uh, I've set all these up. Acrobat's ability one, animal handling, da 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 
there. What you can do, if these aren't set up, you can just click this button and it'll show you all the errors and you can literally just copy and paste this into the attributes. So add your 18 attributes, just click add 18 times and then go through and edit. Now the trick is with this is you can go down to say stealth. I've already entered in here, super skills ability. And you'll see now if I roll to skill check and then I go to stealth, submit that. It asks me if I want to do a standard roll, advantage roll or disadvantage roll. So we're going to do advantage and submit. Now this macro will spit this out, which is for me, I find quite important, especially for my players, because sometimes I find they've got a plus eight or nine when they're second level, which just doesn't sit well with me. So um, it's good to feedback and get in there the information that you want to enter, into, enter and spit out. So it shows us our result. It just shows the highest dice roll for an advantage, the lowest dice roll for a disadvantage, and just rolls one dice for a standard roll, and it will tell you. Um, then it gives us the breakdown, so it's a 1d20 plus 5. Uh, class ability, now this is what I entered in here. Just this one, so if you want to enter all your class abilities here, so say for now I have my class ability, which is super stealthy dude. Can now go to my attributes and change this to Super Stealthy Dude. And if we roll this again, uh, Stealth, and then I'll show you with disadvantage. So it's, uh, it's giving me a disadvantage, but because it has the green on there. Uh, means my other one was a critical. So um, if it's purple, you've got a critical and a fail. But it will give you the lowest number, okay? So it'll give you the lowest number out of two dice. It won't show two dice, it'll just show one, just to avoid confusion. Um, second part of this, uh, you will see here I've what I've replaced, the super stealthy dude will come up. So if anyone is querying what you wanna do, um, you're able to just go, okay, well, that's my ability there. Um, yeah, and it just operates in the feed. It's good for the DM's feedback. It's good for your feedback. Now, the last bit is here, which is the skill level. Uh, as you can see here, this guy is a is proficient in it. So it will give the number two. Uh, two, as you can see, the key is one is jack of all trades. Boom. And then three is expertise. So if I change that now to an expertise, and let's roll that one last time. Stealth. Uh, advantage. Boom. It'll show level four expertise. Oh, I'm going to change that now. Never mind. All right, so that's basically how we operate that. Uh, if we do a no, or let's say we do a... Um, Let's do a different dice roll. Let's do persuasion. He's not very persuasive. Let's just do a standard roll. You'll see here level zero, which means he's not proficient at all. Um, if we do a performance, which he is a jack of all trades. Jack or performance. You'll see there's a one and there's no class ability because I haven't applied anything to it and that's how it'll show. So I hope this helps you a lot, it speeds up gameplay and yeah, I hope you can all enjoy it. Just remember this is only for the player sheet. Uh, if you click this, it converts to the NPC for DMs. Um, this I will roll, I will draw up a new macro, particularly for the NPC sheet. I'm halfway through this now, but if you follow us on Facebook, I will let you know when it comes up. Okay, thanks very much. Hope you enjoy and have